Okay, so today we are going to be solving equations that have no solutions and infinitely many solutions. And you're going to see just how we know that it has one of these and doesn't have a regular answer. Okay, so we've got two equations here. Let's start with A. It says 4 times 2x minus 3 in parentheses equals 8x minus 13. Okay, so we've got parentheses here. I'm going to use the distributive property and mu multiply that 4 times everything in there. So 4 times 2x gives me 8x minus 4 times 3, which is 12. And then I'm just going to drop down everything on the other side. All right, so I've got x's on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract off all the x's off this side. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So when I do that, the 8x's undo each other. We end up getting negative 12 here. The equals drops down. On the other side, the 8x's undo each other. And negative 13 drops down here. And notice what we end up happening. Notice what we end up having at this point. We have no x's in our equation. So we have nothing to solve for now. And we have a statement that says negative 12 equals negative 13. Now, negative 12 does not equal negative 13. This is not possible. In fact, here, I'm going to put a slash here. Negative 12 doesn't equal negative 13. This is an impossible situation with no variables. When you come across a situation where you have no variables left and a number is set equal to a number that it clearly cannot equal, that means there are no solutions. Meaning, there is no possible value of x that you could put into this original equation to make this work. It's an impossible situation. That's what no solutions mean. There's no value of x that can make that work. Okay? So, let's go to the second one now. We've got 6 times parentheses 3x plus 5 equals 9 times 2x minus 1 plus 39. So this is a bigger one. But let's do our distributive property here and let's go through and start simplifying and solving it. 6 times 3x is 18x plus 6 times 5 is 30. Equals drops down. On the other side we're going to distribute our 9 to everything in the parentheses. 9 times 2x is 18x. Drop down that minus. 9 times 1 is 9 and I've got a plus 39. Okay, so far so good. Now before I start solving it, let's combine our like terms. Over on this side, notice we've got two groups of just regular numbers, so we can combine them together. Negative 9 plus 39 is positive 30. So let me drop everything else down here. 18x plus 30 equals, drop down my 18x. All right, so you can kind of see where we're going here, but let's finish this off. We've got x's on both sides. I'm going to subtract 18x. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. When I do that, the 18x's undo each other, but all that's left here is 30. Drop down my equal sign. On the other side, these 18x's undo each other, and all that's left over here is also 30. So notice, we have a similar situation to what we just had. We have no x's left. The difference, though, is we have 30 is equal to 30. And that actually is a true statement. 30 will always equal 30. So what we say here is that x has infinitely many solutions. x has infinitely many solutions. In other words, there you can pick any value of x, stick it into this original equation, and it will work. No matter what value of x you put into this original equation, this side will always equal that side. And that's what infinitely many solutions means. Compared to over here, there is not a single possible value of x you could put in here to make this side equal that side. That's what no solutions means. All right. So that is what we learned today. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Also push that subscribe button. It really helps us out. I hope you have a great day and good luck on that math.